Hello everybody, this is Josh with CupAd and today this is the um, part four in the Cafe Cashflow Management series and today we're going to be discussing the growth projections sheet. Um, so what can the growth projection sheet be used for? It can be used for as a projection if you're starting a, ca a cafe or it can be used to reflect actual numbers um, if you're currently running a cafe. So if you look here, the growth um, for this, ca this, this model is based upon how many cups of coffee that you sell every single month. In this particular example, we're assuming you're actually starting a coffee shop, so you didn't sell any your first three months because you were getting everything set up. And then, of course, you, have your, you start selling in month four. So there's two inputs in this sheet. This sheet is kind of like a parameter sheet. Uh, you change these figures in the sheet and we'll change all the other sheets. The two figures that you can change is your cup sold and then your employment schedule. So let me do a demonstration of changing your cup sold. So if you come over to the income statement, um, you'll notice that in month four we have, or the first three months we have no sales, right? So if we come over here to growth projections, we can actually change this and put 2,000 cups sold in the first month, 3,000 or 300 in the second month, and 500 in the third month, we can go click on the monthly um, income statement. You'll notice that now the it, the revenue has changed in this, and it says that you've you made six thousand dollars of revenue in the first month, and nine hundred and fifteen hundred in the third month. So that's the power of this sheet. You change your growth, what you think you're going to grow, or how much you actually grow, and that's reflected in your income statement, your balance sheet, and your cash flow statement. Now, your employment schedule is important too. Um, because you can change these numbers here and what it will do is it'll actually change the salaries payable tab right over here so let me do a quick example of that I go over to barista your employee and let's say you had one employee but you ended up selling like 10,000 cups of coffee and for month one and two and you just had to hire like three more people so you hire three more people here you'll notice that your total number of individuals hired increases and then you can come over to your salaries payable and you'll notice that that has increased as well now you're paying out um, twelve hundred dollars a month one and two for your employees now if we were to go back and change that to one your salaries payable is going to change again and that's important because your salaries payable is actually in your monthly income statement and it's one of your expenses that's subtracted from your revenue right here so that's how the growth projection sheet works and if you don't have a cafe, you can use this as your a growth for whatever business you have. You just have to change the name and figure out some kind of variable that measures the growth of your business. Thanks.